As the cold winds of Thanksgiving Day rustle through the quaint suburban town of Pennsylvania, Prisoners sets the stage for a tale of harrowing suspense and desperation. The Dover family, Keller, his wife Grace, their teenage son Ralph, and their younger daughter Anna, share the warmth and camaraderie of the holiday with their neighbors, the Birches. Franklin, Nancy, and their children, including a young daughter named Joy, partake in the festive spirit, their laughter ringing through the air, unaware of the impending horror that is about to strike. The day's tranquility shatters when Anna and Joy vanish without a trace. The once comforting silence of the town turns eerie, and the fading daylight takes with it the hope of finding the girls unharmed. The jovial atmosphere of the Thanksgiving celebration is replaced by a chilling dread that gnaws at every heart in both households. A survivalist who always prepares for the worst, Keller finds himself in a nightmare he never anticipated. Detective Loki, Jake Gyllenhaal, a cop known for his impeccable track record, is assigned to the case. The only lead is a beat-up RV that was parked earlier near the houses and had caught the attention of the young girls. The RV's driver, a mentally challenged young man named Alex Jones, is apprehended. But with no physical evidence and Alex's limited intellectual ability preventing effective interrogation, the police are forced to release him. Keller, racked with despair, watches as the man he believes responsible for his daughter's disappearance walks free. His heart is a battleground of fear, anger, and desperation, and it's desperation that wins, taking him down a path he would never have previously considered. He abducts Alex, holding him captive in an abandoned building away from the prying eyes of the law. It's a chilling testament to his deteriorating mental state and the terrifying lengths a desperate father might go to save his child. Detective Loki's search for the truth then takes a sinister turn when he discovers a local priest in an intoxicated state. Compelled to investigate, Loki ventures into the priest's basement, where he stumbles upon a disturbing scene, a corpse stashed away in the eerie silence. Despite the horrifying discovery, it becomes another frustrating dead end in Loki's relentless investigation. Meanwhile, Keller Dover's desperation intensifies. Believing Alex harbors vital information about his missing daughter, Keller imprisons him in an abandoned building's decrepit bathroom. This space, once a mundane shower area, is transformed into a chilling cell where Keller conducts ruthless interrogations, each more brutal than the last. His unwavering conviction, fueled by guilt and desperation, triggers a drastic transformation in his character. Simultaneously, Detective Loki's attention is drawn to a second suspect, Bob Taylor, who Loki notices behaving suspiciously at the Birch family house where a prayer event is taking place. The sight of Taylor leaving a teddy bear at the prayer sparks a gut-wrenching suspicion that triggers a high-stakes chase where Loki frustratingly loses Taylor in the night. Then Taylor's behavior escalates when he breaks into both homes of the missing girls, stealing their clothes, an act that further strengthens Loki's suspicion that Taylor is the abductor. Following a lead from a worker at the store where Taylor bought children clothes, Loki discovers his house. Loki then drives there to investigate confronting Taylor. Inside, after arresting Taylor, Loki, expecting to find the missing children, begins opening locked boxes only to find bloody children's clothing masked by hundreds of snakes. The implications are chilling, as Taylor's fixation with the children's belongings, his disturbing behavior at the crime scene, and the collection of snakes all hint at a dark reality. For Loki and the audience, it seems the pieces of this horrific puzzle might finally be falling into place, leading them closer to the presumed kidnapper. Loki then brings in the children's parents to verify the bloody clothes. After showing Keller a photo of a sock with a bunny rabbit, he storms out, not accepting his daughter may be dead. The next day, in a tense hospital scene, Joy is mysteriously found and brought to the hospital. Freshly rescued and semi-conscious, Joy speaks and hints at Keller's involvement in her abduction, uttering, You were there. They taped my mouth. This sparks a flurry of questions. Was Keller an accomplice, or had he discovered the children's whereabouts? Fueled by desperation, Keller bolts from the hospital, his truck roaring to life as he speeds into the murky night. The audience is left guessing his intentions. Simultaneously, Loki, suspecting Keller's involvement in Alex's abduction, races after him in his patrol car. After a high-stakes chase, Loki loses Keller's trail, leading him to pivot his search to the old abandoned building where he suspects Alex is held captive. Arriving at the building, Loki's worst fears are confirmed. Alex is indeed there, a victim of a cruel, twisted plot. Keller then confronts Holly, disguised under the pretense of fixing her door and atoning for his sins against her nephew Alex. However, this encounter quickly turns dark and reveals Holly's sinister identity when she points a gun at Keller and begins to explain her backstory, stating she and her late husband had embarked on a twisted war against God following the loss of their son, involving the kidnapping and murder of many innocent children. The realization of this horrifying truth allows the audience to begin connecting the dots. Now, cornered and threatened by Holly, Keller is forced to ingest a potent drug cocktail, immobilizing him as Holly's malevolent plans unfold. In a cruel twist of irony, he is led outside and tormented by Holly, saying he is close to his captive 
adoptive daughter before being shot and cast into a concealed pit beneath Holly's car. His cries for help are stifled by the earth above, leaving him imprisoned in the cold, unforgiving darkness. After Keller is forced into the pit, Loki shows up to inform Holly they have found her nephew, Alex. But when no one answers, he suspects something and enters the home. Searching the home, he finds Holly injecting Keller's daughter, Anna, with something. Loki demands her to step away from the child when suddenly Holly pulls a gun, and Loki is forced to put her down once and for all with a blistering shot to the dome. Meanwhile, Keller grapples with his injuries, and his only hope is a whistle, a tool he once taught his daughter to use for emergencies. The truth now revealed, Loki stands near the pit as the police excavate Holly's property. Suddenly, he hears the faint sound of the whistle. His sharp eyes scan the area for the source of the sound. Then the screen fades to black, leaving Keller's fate unresolved and the viewers questioning the outcome of Keller's fate. Prisoners thus culminates as a chilling exploration of the lengths people can go when driven by desperation and guilt. It's a haunting journey into the abyss of fear, a stark examination of the human condition under extreme stress. Through the gripping narrative and riveting performances, Prisoners leaves viewers with a chilling aftertaste, a lingering reminder of the harrowing ordeal they just witnessed. The story serves as a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit, the intensity of a parent's love, and the horrifying consequences of unchecked desperation. This, coupled with an unresolved end leaves the audience pondering long after the screen goes dark, making Prisoners an unforgettable cinematic experience. Subscribe to CinemaScoop so you never miss the latest movie explanations, reviews, and analyses. Thanks for watching.